Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have another awesome new arrival to show you. And pardon any road noise, we are right next to Interstate 40 here. So I'll try to speak up a little more than usual when we're on the exterior portion of these tours. But this is the 2,480 pound 2022 Sunset Park RV Sunlight Model 16BH. This is by far their most popular sunlight and we're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around tour and show you some of the cool features of this compact couples unit. Now don't let the BH fool you, this is not a bunkhouse. This is just your standard couples trailer for, for what these guys like to build in a 16 footer. And it's really a towable truck camper floor plan. So if you've looked at truck campers, but you have a half ton or a uh, three quarter ton, and you don't really want to spend $60,000 on a brand new truck camper, this may be a very good option for you since these things run in the $20,000 range or so, depending on options and everything. But this has got solar, the power tongue jack, the larger 11 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator, the off-road package, tons of cool features, and I think you're gonna really like this one. So let's go ahead, jump onto the inside, and we'll get started. And if you do me a favor real quick, leave me some feedback. What do you like? What do you not like? What would you change? What would you keep the same? And if you appreciate these fair and honest reviews, because I'll tell you the good with the bad, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell, and like the video as well down below, and follow along on with all these uh, new tours that we've got for you. Let's go ahead, jump onto the inside, and dive right in. Man, I tell you, these Sunset Parks units are so interesting, so cool, and so innovative for what they are. And I think that's the big reason we like we decided to take these on. Number one, they're just super lightweight for what they are, but they don't really sacrifice on that quality that you would expect. You know, they're gonna use things like pocket screwed cabinetry. They, um, they're using a little bit gra uh, better grade stereo system. They're using top shelf components, but in a small trailer. And I think that's why we really like them. So if we start in on, on some of this, you'll notice that you have a front queen size bed. And, well, actually, I believe it's a full. This is a 54 by 74 inch bed. So it's a little smaller than, say, an RV queen. Again, I'm going to compare this to a residential full size bed. But for the size of camper, I'm not mad about that. I know somebody will not like it, and it is a point of concern. Not everybody is going to want this particular floor plan because of that and if you appreciate again that fair and honest assessment on these campers again hit that like button down below leave us a note say thank you for being you know giving us exact measurements things like that we really appreciate it but again you've got a 54 by 74 inch bed um, now I really like this headboard pocket over here because you do have a couple of household outlets and USB ports and a, a place down here to be able to set some uh, some phones or a CPAP machine or something. Now this is what we call an east-west bed. And basically that means width-wise across the trailer. So whoever's on the inside, if they need to get up on the, uh, you know, in the middle of the night, they're gonna have to crawl over the person on the outside. It's just, again, something that a lot of people overlook. Um, now, Again, because this is so small, it is kind of tricky to get some of these angles sometimes. But if we take over a uh, look over here, you do have a two-person dinette. I believe there is a sofa option um, for this as well. But we like to bring it in with the dinette um, just because it, it kind of makes a little more sense in this floor plan than the sofa. Now, there is storage underneath both sides of these. I just don't have that open, um, which is really nice. I it, it's a smart idea to not um, waste any of that space under there. All of this uh, on this uh, dinette here, this is going to be a pressed membrane thermal foil style countertop, um, which is nice. So if you spill a drink or something, it's not going to hurt anything. Now, this is a big 
big deal. And real quick before I show you what I'm talking about, you'll see that this is very similar to a lot of truck campers. You've got the rear door um, and kind of that hallway back there. But if we look up top here, you'll notice that you have a full 13,500 BTU roof air conditioner. Now, a lot of these smaller trailers, uh, like your Springdale Minis, for example, or your um, some of your Coleman's or Jayco's, they will have, if we kind of spin back around this way, they have a window unit over here. And those are okay, but this is gonna this AC is gonna put out a lot more uh, cooling power than one of those window units, especially down here in the Texas Panhandle where we're at. Uh, you can see that you do have the control knobs up there, so just keep that in mind. You do have the quick cool, so if we shut this right there, you can see those louvers shut, so that will disperse it out the sides, and if you wanna open this, it'll uh, dump all the air straight down. Now, if we kind of give you a preview of the kitchen, it is a small kitchenette. Um, you do have the glass cover above that three burner range with the oven down below to give you some more prep space. And this particular wood color that we are seeing here is the Naughty Pine interior. Uh, for the wood color. They have two wood colors and about five fabric colors. Um, we really like these this naughty pine look. Um, they also have one called ash, which is kind of that dark brown color instead of this light, bright, inviting kind of log cabin-y um, interior. And then we've paired that with the grotto interior uh, for the fabric. You can get these in red, turquoise, blue, black, all kinds of different colors. Um, so let us know what combination you would like to see. Um, I really like that campsite window too. That gives you a lot of good visibility. But let us know, do you like this better? Um, or if you, if you take a look at our first 18RD video, which I will post a link down in the video description for that. Let me know what you think. Do you like this or do you like the ash interior for the wood uh, better? Now over here in the kitchen, this is kind of an odd spot for this, but you do have a AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system. This will control the interior and exterior speakers on this trailer. And then as we come back over here, you do have a couple of light switches. You've got your dual awning controls. Uh, I believe they still label one of these slide out, which is kind of comical. Um, you've got your water pump, water heater on uh, gas and electric. And then you've got some more lighting controls here as well as your tank monitoring panel. Now you also are gonna have a solar charge controller. Now this one does not have a battery on it right now, uh, but it has a 100 watts of solar up on the roof. Now you can expand that with a second 100 watt panel as an available option from the factory. Um, and some of, uh, of the later units we have still in the backlog are gonna have that. And then right here above that, you do have a TV backer location if you wanna add a TV. And then if you look up top, you have all of the connections up there for all of that. So, okay guys, I hope that gives you a good kind of scope of the living area. Let's go ahead now, we'll open up all of this storage and take a look at the kitchen. Okay guys, so as we start up here above the front bed, you're gonna have a very nice chunk of overhead cabinetry space here. Now there is a bunk option above this. We did not put that on this one. Again, we have some coming in with that as well uh, that we have on back order. Over here, you can see that you do have a nice hanging closet space. You can see that hanging rod up there. So good storage there. Now I do want to point out, this is important. You have a, access to your pass-through storage. So if you want to put some bigger things in there, like a tote or something, you can definitely do that. Above the dinette, you still are going to have more storage. So again, this is nice and usable space. So good space there. Uh, I do want to mention also that you have your furnace thermostat back over here. Um, that way I don't forget that. 
And as we spin back around, I'll try to do this slowly in case you are uh, sensitive to motion. But up here, you are gonna have a good chunk of storage right there. Um, I kind of wish they would have put an interior light somewhere like right here. Um, I think that would help brighten it up just a little bit. Now, if we take a look at the kitchen, again, you have the three burner cooktop with the oven down below in case you want to do some baking. Now, you do have access to your the back of your water heater for winterization right here. So that's what this cabinet's for. You have a single drawer. It is full extension, plywood box, ball bearing drawer guides. You're going to have a double sink. Um, there is a uh, apparently, and I didn't know this when I placed this order, but there is a available option for sink top covers. Uh, I'm going to start doing that from now on. Um, but with this one, you'll notice you do have the little lips here, so you could easily make one out of bamboo or plastic or something. And then down here, you are going to have another good chunk of storage for some of your pots and pans. Again, keep in mind, you'd still have storage underneath the dinette. Electrical outlet back there too. And as we come back over this way, this is another available option. We have optioned in the 10.7 cubic foot Everchill 12 volt DC compressor fridge instead of the standard six cubic or uh, six or eight cubic foot, I forget exactly what it is, uh, gas and electric refrigerator. The big reason that we did that on this is basically you can run this fridge going down the road. You can't do that with the gas and electric version. And we've already got the solar panel on it, so it's really going to give you some good. Uh, good off-grid use as well now real quick i do want to before we jump back to the bathroom i do want to talk about the msrp on this thing msrp as you can see down there is going to be twenty eight thousand four hundred and forty eight dollars i apologize if my camera works a little a little bit wonky there but uh, if you want to go ahead and pause the video and take a look at all of the options on this, you're more than welcome to. I'll hold here for just a few more seconds. But as we come back to the bathroom, and that's one of the things I really like about this. This has a full bathroom, not a wet bath like you're used to seeing. And apparently I forgot to turn on the light in here. But you do lose the sink. You are going to have a foot flush lever toilet. If we get this curtain out of the way, you can see that you have a nice uh, shower pan down here. You can be upwards of 6'2 and still shower in here comfortably. ABS shower surround here. You are going to have the skylight up top there, as you can see. And then lastly, you're going to have a powered vent fan. So, okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the interior of this 2022 Sunlight by Sunset Park RV, model 16BH. Let's go ahead now, jump out to the outside, take a look at some of the outside features. Again, I do apologize, we are right next to the interstate, so if the traffic noise gets a little loud, again, I apologize. Okay, guys, so we're back on the outside of this 2022 Sunlight 16BH. And again, I apologize for any road noise. We are right next to Interstate 40 here. But uh, as we get started, first thing you'll notice is this is a rear entry door. Again, this is why I call this a towable truck camper. You can see you've got your 30 amp uh, hardwired cord, your spare tire, spare tire carrier, and then you're going to have your double step more ride step above steps. Now, if we look up top here, you can see that you have dual awnings. Both of those are going to be powered and they have the LED light strips in them. You can also see that you're prepped for a backup camera and you have that extra amber porch light. If we come over here onto this side, you can see that you have dual outside speakers, one here, one back over there, power outlet, and then you've got your furnace exhaust here. You can also see that you have four corner stabilizer jacks. They are manual. A lot of the competition only has the two rear ones. So that is a extra upgrade. <clears throat> As we come over onto this side, 
first thing you'll notice you do have your black and gray tank dumps right here they're nice tucked up out of the way and we've equipped these with the sport package so that gives you a six inch lift the aggressive off-road tires um, which is always a very good thing you're gonna have your black tank flush and your outside hot and cold shower cable and satellite hookups then you've got your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition that is an option if you want to save a couple hundred bucks you can just get a gas water heater and then up underneath here you have a very generously sized pass-through storage you can also see your fresh tank and your water pump are super easy to get to which is very nice now if I was gonna change one thing on the outside it would be these little clip doodle things right here I would much prefer a magnetic hold back but at least I give you a pass-through storage which is nice and then right here you can have your city water and fresh water connection right there now these are not a four season trailer they don't have the enclosed heated underbelly but we did option these with the six side heat foil so it's going to give you a little better insulation you can see these are also an aluminum sided trailer so that'll be wood framed with aluminum uh, siding power tongue jack up here two 20 pound propane tanks and that's a nice touch for such a small trailer and then you've got your rails for your battery back there as well as a handy battery disconnect all right guys that's going to wrap it up for the 2022 sunset park rv sunlight model 16 bh if you're interested in this travel trailer or if you like pricing and availability i will put a link down to our uh or to our website down in the description below you can also leave us any comments down below as well you can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 if you really want to talk to a human being or you can send us an email at contact at custom-rv.com as always guys we thank you very much for watching we hope that you enjoyed if you could do me a favor again leave us some feedback tell us what you liked what you didn't like if you appreciate the fair review uh, leave us a note saying that saying thanks for the honest reviews or something like that you can uh, if you do me a favor also hit that like button down below that always helps us and if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below as well again guys we hope that you enjoyed we thank you very much for watching we hope to see you out on our lot very soon have a wonderful holiday season and have a wonderful rest of your day